Hey again, everyone. It's Mike and David back for week 12 of the Jimbu Pal 90 day uh, case study. And uh, if you haven't seen any of the previous videos, make sure you check out the link in the top corner or in the video description below to go back to the first video of the series. Basically, we've been following David along in his, uh, in his journey, learning Mandarin using Jinbu Pal for the first time. So um, it's been really exciting to see his progress along the way, see some of the additional tools that he's developed uh, to help him learn along the way. That's a pretty cool thing about uh, with David being the, the app developer himself when he found ways that it would be helpful to have some different tool, he could code it up and and use it to benefit himself. And now it's going to be a benefit to everybody in the Jimbo Powell community in the future. So, um, so yeah, I guess we'll just jump in and kind of recap the progress that we've had so far and uh, talk about, you know, um, see, see what David thinks is, is his um, plans for moving forward after this uh, with the, the 90 days being kind of a good benchmark to see how much progress um, he's, he's reached in that, you know, pretty short period of time using Jimbo Pal. So, uh, so yeah, how's it going, David? I'm doing well. It's, um, it's kind of crazy that it's already been 12 weeks. Um, it's been quite a journey. You know, I think the biggest thing that I've kind of taken out of these first 12 weeks is just like figuring out, um, the pace that I want to move at and kind of like what techniques and styles work best for me as I kind of approach learning this new language. Um, if you haven't watched the other videos, I started off literally at square zero. Um, so I didn't know a single bit of um, Mandarin um, and, uh, you know, just jumped in straight with Jimbo Pal. So yeah, let me um, share my screen and we can kind of look at my account and where I am today. Um, so this is my account. Um, you can see, you know, all of these, all the characters that are in green are ones that I know the pin and the tone and the meaning for. Um, there are also a lot of different characters that I've learned. Um, I've learned the opinion and I've learned the, uh, uh, the meaning, but haven't quite gotten the tone yet. So part of what I've been doing in the past couple of weeks has been going back through and kind of knocking a bunch of those out. Um, on the word side of things, I change my settings. Um, let's zoom out a little bit. Um, I haven't done as much as I think I would have liked to on words, um, but you can see obviously a lot of the um, characters that are also words I've learned um, and they're all of these yellow words are words that I um, know or am able to recognize the characters so the cool thing about Jimbo Powell has been that you know as I've kind of built up this base of characters um, you know it's kind of setting me up and letting me know like there's all of this room for quickly being able to tackle all these words because I kind of already know what some of the characters are. Um, so yeah, I mean, if we look at my progress over these 12 weeks, you'll see, you know, you kind of start off very quickly in sort of that recognition piece of it. Um, and at the beginning, I wasn't focusing on tone a lot. You know, probably about halfway through the 12 weeks, I decided to really kind of hit the brakes on learning new characters in terms of like opinion and meaning and starting to um, tackle some of the tone. And that's where it kind of flattens out just in terms of, you know, I wasn't trying to add on more characters, but was really trying to kind of reinforce a lot of stuff that mm -hmm. um, I've done. So I don't know, that was a, that was a mouthful, but that's kind of like where I am today, just in terms of my progress, um, learning Mandarin through Jimbo Pal. Well, one thing, you know, looking at your chart um, with your Jimbo Pal score over this time, you know, when I think about it, I think for me personally, if I'd have had a chart to show when I was learning, I'd probably, I'd still at this point, 90 days, I'd still be at like, 
the bare minimum on the tone. Like I straight up ignored it for a, a long time. Um, and uh, I think just because I got carried away learning new um, characters and then it ended up not really setting me back that much once I started um, reading more and more after knowing words. Like there was a point when I was doing a lot of like attempting reading um, kind of as, as you'll probably go into in a bit um, and, you know, seeing characters, excuse me, um, seeing characters that I recognized, but um, not knowing the full word. And then once you know the full word, um, the tone comes a lot easier because you remember it as part of that word. So um, I think that it's really awesome that you've gotten as high as you have, you know, 40% on the tone by recognition is really good um, at this level. And, um, so I think that'll help you, uh, a lot as you continue. And that's kind of like, that's a sec, that's a, an aspect of it that probably slowed me down a little bit later that you don't have that now, but maybe when I was doing it, I maybe knew more words at this point than you do. So it's, everybody's different. And I think it's good the way that you highlighted, you know, this is the way that that was helpful for you to do it. And um, I think that's, that's a really cool thing that we're giving people the option of, of seeing through um, getting the, the instant feedback of the, uh, the Jim Bupal score, because you can kind of have the freedom to do whatever you want and yeah. feel the confidence that since you can see the results, you, um, you always feel like you're progressing, you know, you're not feeling like you, you might be going down a road that's wasting your time or something. Yeah. And I mean, it's kind of cool. I mean, to your point, like I, I'm already at 30% word recognition, even without putting that much time into it. Yeah. And I mean, I got 409 partially learned, you know, ready to go. So that's definitely kind of going to be the next chapter of my, learning and i am curious to see if like um if focusing on the words will help to reinforce a lot of the character tones because that has been one area that i think i've struggled with um and so it, you always at least in like my research i've always read that you know the two c character words really help to reinforce that and so um I'm excited to kind of jump into that piece of it. Yeah, definitely. And also the words now, you know, um, now that we've got those sorted based on frequency, you can pick up with those um, yellow words. And yeah, I mean, these are going to boost it up. Yeah, and you're, you're, you're going to see those a whole, whole lot. Yeah. And that'll help you to kind of, that'll help you more you're reading an article right now and you see, okay, there's a lot of words using that, the Jimbo pal trainer, you can see, Hey, there's a lot of characters that I know. But then once you start noticing more of those are words that, you know, it, it's, it kind of, um, it helps a lot to break the sentence down. And so you see a sentence and knowing a few words inside of it is even more meaningful than knowing a few characters in it. And, uh, it's a big difference even just by adding some meaning next for, two characters that you already knew next to each other. Yeah. Cool. Um, one thing I wanted to do in this call was just kind of like, I guess, show the viewers like what my, like kind of show my, my studying and practice. Um, and so uh, I wanted to kind of just go to a random article. And I think this will also help to visualize. I mean, like you can look at my, at this number and say, okay, well, not that one. The, um, this Jimbu Pal score and say, okay, 61%, but like, what does that really mean? Yeah. Um, and one of the things that we've worked on is uh, kind of this Jimbu Pal, we call it the Jimbu Pal trainer. So I'm just going to pick a random article in here. Uh, I don't even know, you know, I don't even necessarily know what this is about. Um, and show you guys. Um, if I hit the Jimbu Pal trainer, it's connected to my Jimbu Pal account and it will highlight, um, 
any characters that I say that I know. And currently the settings that I have it set for, um, it's showing characters that I know both the meaning, the tone, and the opinion. And so typically what I'll do is I'll have the Jongwen extension on so I can kind of step, you know, character by character. And uh, it helps me to like, you know, uh, know the definitions for words or characters that I don't know. But I kind of have that turned off and I wanted to just step through some of these just to kind of show the kind of, uh, I guess, level that uh, I'm at, or at least show that I know some of these. Um, and so, Michael, what I want you to do is to like correct me, like whenever, um, if if I'm wrong on anything, okay. um, and even if like uh, if I have like the wrong tone, like help me with that too, and we can kind of just um, yeah, and I'll try to like step through and like say the definitions as well. Um, so this first character is uh, Shang. Yep. Right. Which means like up or on top of. Yep. Um, this is uh, yeah. Yuan. Yuan. Yep. Yuan. Which means person. This is a uh, uh, Gong. Um, yep. Which I'm pretty sure this is actually a word for worker, right? Yep. Or what? like employee. Uh, so is it? It's Yuan Gong. Yuan Gong. Yeah. Yuan, Yuan Gong. Gong. Um, this is uh, uh, Tom. It's uh, with a with a C. It's Tom. Tom. But you may just be, you may have remembered that correctly, but not pronounced it correct. So it's C O N G, right? Yeah, Tom. Which so means like it means yeah, to follow. Yep. Or also, it could be like from. Um, so that that part of that sentence says um uh so that part of that sentence says um the unemployment rate from 13.3 percent fell to 11.1 percent so that song is the from yeah um i believe this is uh it's d-a-n is dan yep. don don Done. Uh, but yep uh, this is sure. the word Dan sure is, sure is one word for but so it's like a you know just a conjunction Dan sure gotcha. and you'll, you'll hear that stand out a lot when people talk particularly I mean like for myself maybe you know just like in English you're saying you're saying something and then you say like but and then you're gathering your thoughts on what you're going to say next. So um, you'll hear like, da -da 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 and with like a pause after it. So it stands out. It's something that you can very easily pick out, even if you're not used to doing your listening. Mm -hmm. It starts to stand out more and more. Yeah. I wonder if I, I'm going to go back later and add that to my words. Um, Cause I'm sure I'll see that a lot. Yeah, definitely. This is shirt for yep. time. Yeah. Uh, this is yo, which yep. means to be. Ren is person. Yeah. Um, this is de. Yep. Um, which means like of. Yep. Um, this is uh I think this is Ching. Yep. Which Ching. Yep. So I always remember this as like I think it's like sacred book, but like what is the other definition for it? It's like uh well, so it, it I, this is this is this is one. Um, gosh, I think I think Bible is Shengjing, uh, Shengjing. I think I believe that's right. But that one of the most common, uh, I'd say the two most common words that I see it in, and I remember it most from the words that I recognize it from, um, would be uh, this word here, which is Jingji. So that second character is Ji, J I in the fourth tone. And that's uh, economy. Gotcha. Um, but another one is yi, jing, which means already, which um, I won't be surprised if that's also yeah, somewhere. This is economy it. also. Yeah. Um, we might see it in a little bit, but that's also a very common yeah. um, 
usage of it. Yeah. Um, okay. This is a. Uh, uh, is it Ran or Ron? Ran. Ron. Ron? Yeah. Ron. Run. Yeah, so any of the ones like, you know, like you had said previously, Dan, Ran, that's that's always going to have like an on sound to it. So like A-N is also on, um, or yeah. if you have like Shang, it's Shang, not Shang, you know, and so, and so you did that one correctly, um, or uh, Rang, you know, it's, it's always the on sort of sound. Yeah. Uh, you know, Chang, not Chang, that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, this is one that I see all the time. Uh, Mei Guo, yep. which means America. Um, yep. And then I think this is Bai, which is, means white. Yep. And this is Ren, so this is like white person. Yep. Um, here's Mei Guo again. I guess this is giving like, uh, these are statistics. Yep. For, I I'm what I'm assuming was unemployment, right? Yep. So, in fact, I'm trying to see. I saw, I kind of cheated and saw that this is on yeah. Black, yeah. unemployment rate gap. Uh, and I thought I knew what the word for black was, or the character for black was, but maybe I don't have that added yet. If you go up into the title, you'll see it in the, the caption, of the, not the caption, the title of the article. You recognize it there? Uh, no. It's Heiren. Just after the colon, so it says Heiren. Oh, sure, yeah. Oh, hey, yeah. Sure, yeah do. I should have yeah. saw the other Ren. Um, yeah, so that's first tone. Hey. Um, yeah, so <laughs> this is, um, there's duh again. Here's Wei. Um, this is, I'm pretty sure this is er, which is, is that however? Uh, yeah, so like, um, it can also be kind of like and, but it, it's more like a but than a, an a and. Like, so, so yeah, I mean, however is uh, probably how it's actually defined in, in there, um, in, in our Jimbu Pal, like in the dictionary. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. And, and I would say uh, R. More like, uh, so you said, er, um, R. I would say more like R, yeah. Gotcha. Um, this is, huh? Yep. Which, this is like typically like combining two, it's not and, but it's like combining two, um, nouns, right? Or like off. Yeah, I would say it actually is kind of like and it's but you, you have it right in saying that it's you, it, th There's multiple ways that in English we could use the word and when it's not always applicable in Chinese But yeah. to connect two nouns, that's that's the appropriate way to do it but if you were to connect two clauses like um, You know you finish one clause and then you say and da, 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 Instead you would use Bing um, or Bing um so yeah yeah um and then i think i mean the rest of these we kind of gone through this is megan the yeah. way rin the and this one is dow yep um so yeah that was kind of just like a taste of this is like kind of how i go about my studying typically i'll have jong one on so you can I can go in and like, um, you know, especially for a lot of the words, I don't know, kind of see what it is. And then I can, you know, I can see what characters I know. And I can also start to work out some of the grammar in both of these sentences. Um, but you can see, you know, like even with just the 60%, it covers a lot of I mean, the article. Um, yeah. and so, uh, it's pretty amazing just like after 12 weeks and by focusing on kind of uh, the most commonly used characters, like how much you can get just in terms of recognition. Yeah, definitely. Um, and this tool is so good to visualize that. I mean, I think it's pretty awesome that um, you were able to throw that together during this whole process to to help 
help out. I mean, yeah, because you turn it off, it's such a big difference, you know. As a viewer, it's hard to even tell um, what you do and don't know, and and you switch that on, and it's like, oh, here we go. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I uh, I think that definitely, you know, seeing a lot of words in here, um, there's a lot of them that you'll start to. Uh, when you start taking up the words part of Jimbu Pal and going by frequency, there's a lot that you'll see in there. Um, and that'll be really helpful. You know, there are some words that are really common that use a character that's not super common, but the other character is really common. So in the character ranking, that character, because it's used in a bunch of words, gets shot up to the top. And even though that word is also a common word the second character in it is a lot lower in the frequency count if you know what i mean mm -hmm. so you'll notice more and more of those and um and i think that'll be that'll be really helpful as you continue to go through the words um but yeah i mean can you think of any like thoughts of how your mindset's changed about it or or what i know um you know, to any of the viewers, since David and I have been working on this project for a while and he's been coding everything up, I mean, um, he's been aware of all the, you know, the blog posts that we have, uh, talking about methods of learning Chinese and basics of it and stuff, but hadn't actually dove in and started working on learning the content itself. So, you know, how has your mindset, sh like, changed over time as you've personally been doing it? Um, I think that like when I first started to do it, I thought that I could just kind of power through the characters, um, and just make progress off of just the strength of memorization. Um, and I quickly found that, you know, especially at the speed that I was going with, once I got to a certain point, it was like, I, I couldn't retain anything. Um, yeah. And it was the practice of actually going out and looking at real content that has helped to like reinforce a lot of the characters. So like, for instance, <laughs> like, uh, May Gua, like I see that all the time, and yeah. I'm never gonna forget that just because that's like it comes up in my reading a lot. But yeah. it just in the collection of characters, I probably wouldn't have been able to recognize that as much like if I hadn't been doing my reading. Yeah. So I think the reading was really important. I wish I had done that earlier on. I wish I had started to work on the tone earlier. As you can see, I'm still kind of you know making progress on it and still have a lot to, to um, kind of reinforce. Yeah. Um, I, think, I think knowing how to pronounce the characters um, definitely helped in my memorization of them. And I wasn't as yeah. intimidated by them because there were, there were certain sounds that like, just by looking at the pinion, like I didn't want to start reinforcing some like bad pronunciation in my head. Yeah. You know, by just like, okay, I know this is like X U E and like, I don't know how to say that yeah. properly, but like, I don't want to start trying to remember it by some bad pronunciation. Yeah. Yeah. But that was another piece of it. I mean, there's been a lot of learning. It was when we first started, we didn't have our own pronunciations in there. So now with the audio files, I'm sure that helps. Yeah, that definitely a lot. Helps. You find yourself using those a lot? Yeah, like I use those all the time. Okay. Um, and I think like even moving forward, I might think about ways that we can even make it a little more easier to get to the sounds. Because sometimes like I'll be looking at a big list of characters and like, I don't necessarily want to click in and then click the pronunciation yeah. button. Like I kind of want to just like, yeah. I don't know, quickly be like, okay, this is that, this is that, this is that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that, that's been extremely helpful. Um, yeah. I mean, there's been a lot of like small things I've learned along the way. Like um, it helps me to group things that sound similar and then learn those all, or not sound similar, the characters that look similar. And yeah, I learn those together so that I can tell the differences between them. Um, and 
you know, another big thing with this too is it's easy to uh, take for granted the fact, I mean, you've been doing this all on your own and that's, that's pretty impressive. You know, like um, I think, you know, just although we've been doing these videos, I'm just kind of giving you little bits as we go. If you have small questions that come up, but um, the more, the more time you have, say if, you know, if you, you were also in a class or if you were traveling or the, the more and more reading you do, the more that you encounter things that cause you to just be curious. And, um, and that's, you know, that's the secret to a lot of this is just getting to a point where you feel like you're progressing well enough that you're actually see a reasonable goal in the near future that you could be speaking fluently and that pushes you and motivates you and causes you to be more interested and more curious. And so, um, I think you're definitely on that track and, you know, even just going and, and doing your reading on these, on like fortune or the different news websites, it's a good habit to be in to keep you um, in that sense and just encountering more and more vocabulary once your character lists grows more and more. Um, mm. But I mean, you're up to like 300 characters now so, or somewhere around there. And um, you know, that's a whole lot in terms of frequency. And um, so, yeah, I mean, I think it's been a really great experience experiment. Um, and uh, I think, you know, it's been, it's been really awesome to see the, the tool, um, see the app be, how effective it can be um, for you for kind of the first time seeing it working in real time. Yeah. Yeah, no, so, it's yeah. good. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm going to keep on working at it. Um, and um, I think, yeah, the next thing to really tackle is start to, put more of the focus on the words um, as yeah. opposed to just the characters. And so, I don't know, maybe we can do some like monthly or like kind of like an extended series um, and keep checking in. Cause I like, I've liked these calls of just like being able to look back and see what my progress has been over the time. Yeah. Yeah. I think that would be really good. And maybe, you know, if you come up with questions during the week, we could just do quick videos like that. Maybe even do uh each question is a, is a separate video and do just a bunch of short videos. Maybe you found some sentences in your reading that um, the grammar is really confusing to you or something like that. And we can sit down and talk about it. Maybe, you know, I'll find some things like that too. And I'll, I'll pull up my own videos cause I, you know, um, I'm, I'm by no means a master of this. I've got a long way to go. And so, you know, I could, I could find some of those things myself and, um, I think that would be really helpful for people to see um, and lots of just kind of rapid fire videos to watch. So. Definitely. Cool. All right, man. Well, yeah, this has been awesome. And uh, so anybody uh, watching, um, make sure to uh, check back on our channel, uh, see all the different videos that we plan to make in the future, all the rest of the videos in the series. Um, make sure to head over to our website, jimbupal.com. And also, um, at the time that we're filming this video, the beta test is still uh, not live, um, but eventually we'll be doing a beta test of the app that's open to the public to apply for. And uh, then after that, ultimately we'll be releasing the app um, for, for everyone to sign up um, and, and use. So um, you can sign up for the beta uh, by going to jinbupal.com slash beta. Uh, is that right? That's the link, right, David? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, and if you go there, you can sign up and apply. You'll get on our email list, and we'll get you in um, as soon as the uh, the program starts. But the supply is limited, so um, we're, we're kind of picking, uh, trying to pick people from a bunch of different interest levels so that we have a good group of mix of people who are in classes, who are brand new, who have been studying for a little while. So. Um, so we're trying to just make sure we have, um, 
a lot of uh, uh, a lot of different different people coming from different levels of skill into the program. Um, but uh, yeah, so also uh, if you like this video and you want to see more like it, um, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And uh, yes, as I mentioned, the uh, Jimbo Pal website has a ton of other blog posts to uh, to supplement everything that you'll find on this channel. So uh, thanks again for watching, and uh, and we'll see you next time. See you later, David. See you, man.